How's it going guys, it's Geeky by TCG, and we'll be opening up another Duelist Nexus box. It's actually the last one I have. I might buy more in the future, we'll see. Um, but I would love to pull one more quarter century rare. Specifically, Magicians of Bonds and Unity. I know I already pulled one, but if you haven't seen that, definitely check out my live stream. The reaction was pretty good, because that's my biggest chase card. But I think the one I've got, it's not, I could get a 10. But it looks more like a nine and a half to me. So I was for grading purposes, I should say, uh, to clarify. So I'd love to pull another one. I also have a friend of mine that wants one really bad, the friendly card guy. Um, so hopefully I can pull a second one here. There's also a couple other core centuries I would love to pull. Like uh, a fusion armament. It's a, not an expensive one, it just looks really cool. Uh, the Crimson Dragon would be a cool one. Nightmare Magician would be another one. Um, Nightmare Magician's pretty cheap, so I might just pick that up. But you also have Revolution Synchron. Again, that card would be for sale. Not really something I'd want for the collection. But just, just depends. Okay. Look at my Duelist Nexus piles from... Filmed another video the other day with Duelist Nexus. Let's see. And Red Eyes Black Mirror Dragon. I wish this would have got a quarter century rare. This one actually looks pretty. I might grade one of these just because I love that artwork so much. But we'll see. I want to get the ultra rare promo version of it still. Be from the Japanese. Uh, I think it's come down in price, so. Definitely the time to buy it now. Just a random super. But tell me what you guys think of Duelist Nexus. I think it's going to age very, very well and could end up being one of the best collector sets of this year. Uh, for playing the game, it's probably not better. Oh, there's another cool one. Magician of Faithfulness. Uh, for playing the game, it's probably not better than like Photon Hypernova or Cyberstorm Access, but... The quarter century rares, I think there's a lot of them that could even go up in price. Um, Magicians of Bonds and Unity is one I'm... We'll have to wait and see. I was watching a video by Strictly Sealed. And he thinks they're going to go quite... Uh, are going to go pretty... Like, how do I say it? They're pretty undervalued right now, so they're probably going to go way up. But we'll see. It's kind of like... He was kind of comparing it to like 10k Dragon, where it's only available in that one rarity. And it... Never has been printed in anything else. Dark Corridor. Pretty good secret, actually. Take that. Um, what I mean by that is, like, 10K Dragon has only ever been released in that 10,000 secret rare. If they keep Magicians of Bonds and Unity only ever released <clears throat> in a quarter century rare, it will be very helpful to its long-term investment. Oh, my God, we got it! I was literally about to trade for this card. Why did the fire chain in the quarter century bear? Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out something else with Ram now. I was supposed to trade for this card. Oh man, that's so sick though. This is one of the ones I really wanted. I forgot about this one actually when I was opening, but oh my god, that card is so sick. It has a good looking quarter century rare. I think it's a little off centered, unfortunately. Good back centering. Little actually top to bottom is bad. Very good looking card though. Might grade it, might not. That's a sick though. <laughs> what are the chances of pulling that card? It's actually very rare. This is the thing I don't think people understand. Our quarter century rares are a little rarer than they think. What I mean by that is there's 25 of them. You get three per case, so they're one in four booster boxes. So to get the one you want, you technically have to open up more boxes than you would for a Starlight Rare to get every single one, by theory. So it actually is kind of, you know, people don't realize that. And there's the Ultra Rare. This one's super off-centered, but very cool. Cool to pull them both in the same box.
Yeah, I'll have to text Ram after <laughs> after I film this or done filming this. Uh, I won't need that quarter century rare. I've pulled it. But we'll do other trades, obviously, in the future. We hadn't agreed on anything yet as far as what I was going to trade them. So those cards, I th I don't know if he needs them anyways. I haven't talked to him yet. Because <clears throat> uh, I have a spell mining Circle and a Delinquent Duo. Cool. Ultra Rare. Don't know if he needs either one of those. So if he does, obviously I'll still trade him for something. Genesis. I wish this. I don't think this got a quarter century, right? I don't think any supers did. Now that I'm thinking about it. Super cool card, though. <clears throat> Man, I should have took a drink of water before I filmed this. My mouth's a little dry. The Mighty King. I always think this is like the same card. They obviously are different, but they're very similar. Mighty Dino King Rex. Yeah, Duels Nexus, to me, honestly, it's probably been my favorite set so far this year. I know that's probably, I wouldn't say it's controversial, but a lot of people like Cyberstorm Access and Photon Hypernova the best so far, but I think it's Duels Nexus. I really like Quarter Century Rares, um, and they've done some really cool ones in this set. I wasn't a huge fan of Battle of Legend Monsters Revenge. Like, it's a good set, don't get me wrong. I don't really think we've gotten many bad sets this year. I think the first bad set is coming out actually on my birthday. <clears throat> this will be that new Legendary Duel set. That's going to be a bad set. The Ghost Rare is not really chaseable. Um, like it's not, I don't really know who's going to... I mean, I've seen some people that are excited, but it's like, why would you do that one? Why wouldn't you do like a Volcanic Doomfire or something like... Do a very cool card? Even if it's not... Kind of like they did with Wing Dragon or Rot, even if it's just available in Ghost Rare. Like, I don't understand it. That card also might only be available in Ghost Rare now I'm thinking about it. The one they did pick. So, I have no idea. Some people were excited about it, I saw. But, I think most of us would have preferred something better. Sleepner, the Runic Name. Not a bad secret. Not the best. Vanishing Trap Hole. Right. What do we have left? Actually, we have two Ultras left still, so... Could pull maybe that Chimera. Or the, um... What is it called, actually? Yeah, the Chimera. Let's forget the actual name of it, but... Let's see if we can pull that card. It's the best Ultra in the set. That one with obviously a super. I think that's used in the fusion summon for it though. In for noble arms, Almace. I will say I'm very excited for um, Age of Overlord to see what we're going to be getting in that set. Obviously, we're getting another printing of Magicians of Bonds and Unity in a different color background. So, you'll be able to collect, I think it's four of them that they're going to have. So, the green background, it's going to match the background of the set. So, I think the next one's yellow. And then we should get a red. And then I think people are saying it's either going to be a blue or an orange one from uh, Strictly Sealed's video. So, we'll have to wait and see. And we got Altergeist Admina. So not the best ultimate, not the best ultra rares, but oh my god, I can't believe we pulled the core century rare again. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.